Tiny wireless earbuds, but are they any good? Let's find out. Dave Taylor here, and I want to talk about wireless earbuds. Now, when I say that, you immediately think, ah, Apple AirPods. But there are other players in that market, including the Raukin Micro. That's this. So let's start with the small unboxing. It's in a box. Comes out, and it's in a very nice piece of packaging here. And then the packaging actually has a bit of a magnet, which took me a little while to figure out. And you open it up. There's some very minimal instructions on this side. Here is the actual charging unit, and I actually already have the earpods in here, but we'll come back to that in a second. And then on the bottom, <laughs> and you can see I kind of ripped it because I opened it the wrong way, is a little container that contains a micro USB charging cable and a set of ear tips to make sure you get the right fit. As with all of these sort of products, it is super important to try different ear, top, um, ear tips to make sure you get the ones that are exactly the right size for your ears. Now, let's talk about these. These are the Raukin Micro, and I open it up, and the little ear pods, earbuds, whatever you want to call them, they're right here. And they're small. And all I have to do to use them is put them in my ears and then push the button on the outside of each one. And it will tell me that I have left ear and right ear. And then it will tell me that it's paired with my device. If you've never paired it, it just goes straight into pairing mode. Super easy. And then when you're ready to play, all you have to do is actually play some music. And they sound pretty darn good, actually, particularly if you put in the extra effort to make sure you're using the right ear tip. They actually have a pretty nice sound to them. So let me pull these out because I want to talk about them. It doesn't do you much good to watch me listening to them, right? So, um, the design is clearly, clearly inspired by this. These are the Apple AirPods and they come, they're little tiny guys, they fit in their holes, and basically this base unit is a charger. So on the Apple AirPods, you have these that have teeny tiny batteries in them, and then every time you put them back in their little carrier slash base, they're charging. So, pretty neat design. Clearly, Raukin went the same route and said, that's a really cool idea. We could do the same thing. So they took these little tiny wireless earbuds and they put them in a unit that is really pretty much the same size. It's slightly different dimensions, but it's awfully small. So what's in here? A battery. And it works out really nicely because the battery actually, when you put these in, and you just put them in nose down. There's no special order to put them in. And as soon as I close this up, you can see maybe there's two little tiny red lights here. So they're starting to charge already. And this base unit can charge them fully four times. And on a full charge, the earbuds will give you three hours of listen or talk. And you know, you really just completely run out of power, then 15 minutes in this will give you an hour of listen time or talk time. So very nice. And that means that the combination of the two gives you about 12 hours of active use. Now, if you're like most people, you're probably not going to listen for 12 hours without some breaks. You're not going to be on a phone call without at least a bio break. Seriously, turn off the phone before you use the bathroom. Super weird. Separate conversation. <laughs> um, so with these, this could be easily a full day of you actually listening. And if you have longer hair like I do, you can put the earbud in and then no one would even know it's there. So you can pretend that you're paying attention to people when secretly it's, I don't know, it's like a spy movie, right? Um, okay, we have control, check. I don't know, I'm not sure that's exactly what they'd say, but you know, really neat design. And I really, there's a lot to like about these. Now. There's a couple of things worth knowing, but before we get there, let me also tell you that these run Bluetooth 4.1 and they cover all the different fancy Bluetooth audio protocols, starting with A2DP and including SPP, AVRCP, HSP, and HFP. 
don't ask me to define what they all are, I don't know. But if you have an audio gear that works with Bluetooth and has the ability to do more expanded audio quality, then these are going to be able to handle it, which is really nice. They also have, and I have no idea where, they have a built-in microphone so you can use it for phone calls. Not super great, but pretty nice. And the nice thing is, is you can also use just one. So if you're not used to having stereo phone calls, you can just put one in and then you're ready to roll. Now, let's have a quick close-up of this because the design actually is more sophisticated than it looks. There's a teeny tiny LED and the little bar on the base of it is actually a button. So, there are all these different sequences that you can learn how to use. For example, if you get a phone call, one press answers the call. When you're on a call, one press actually hangs you up. If you don't want someone to call you, I think you can double tap or you can just ignore it. Now, you want to talk to Siri or you want to talk to Google Assistant because these are super friendly with both Android and iOS. All you have to do is double tap. So I can double tap and I can say, Siri, what's the weather outside? Or give me directions or text mom or something like that. Um, when you're in music mode, one tap plays, another tap pauses. And there's a little bit of redundancy because both of these are exactly the same design. So you can tap either ear depending on if you're left or right eared or left or right handed, I guess. I think if you're right handed, your left ear is dominant. Not sure about that. But, be that as it may, however you want it to work, if you are used to just using the left ear for calls, you can just put it in your left ear and, hey mom, how you doing? Yeah, that's good. Oh no, I'm paying total attention to what you're saying. <laughs> just kidding, I would never, ever do such a thing. Now, so, all sorts of really cool things. They are sweat and water resistant, so you know anything that goes in your ear, anything that goes on or near your body probably should have some level of sweat resistance. I don't know that I'd swim in these. I'm pretty sure that will invalidate the warranty, and I'm pretty sure that Raukin would just sit in there right now going, oh God, don't tell him to swim in these. They're not designed for that. But if you go for a jog and you get a little sweaty, okay, then these, they'll stay in. I've tried them, I've worn them for a period of time while I've been walking around and stuff, and they do a pretty good job of staying in your ears. Now, one of the very few things I don't like about these is there's no indication on the earbuds themselves which one's left and which one's right. When you power them up, it actually says left ear, right ear. So, of course, roughly 50% of the time I do that and I say, Oops, and I have to switch ears. It's a little tedious. There's really no reason they couldn't have figured out some way to denote which is which. Um, but the other thing that's interesting is that the earbud itself actually Raukin sells in a variety of different setups. So this is the micro, which ultimately really refers to the charging base because they also have something called the bit and the mini that have the same little tiny Bluetooth earbuds. And those just have different bases for charging and stuff. So depending on what you're looking for, you might want to compare them. And so what we haven't talked about is we haven't talked about the audio quality. And I have to say, I was very favorably impressed when I put these in. You know, it's the same with like the AirPods. As you look at these and you're like, okay, these are tiny. Honestly, how much audio fidelity are you going to get out of something this small? And the answer is, they're actually pretty darn good. And these are quite comparable. They have a lot of the same problems, but they have a lot of the same richness too. And what I mean by a problem is that in terms of audio fidelity, they do a really good job on the highs and on the mid-range, and there actually is bass, and it actually sounds pretty good, but it's like upper bass, lower mid-range, that area just feels like there's just something missing. So there's not much presence with these earbuds. And if you're someone who's looking for really good audio fidelity, then seriously, these are the wrong kind of product. Any product that's just a tiny little earbud that goes in your ear and has to have all the circuitry for Bluetooth and has to have a battery and everything, there's just not going to be enough circuitry for you to get really great audio fidelity. Now, the earbuds I have that sound fantastic are the ones where they're not doing all those other things. So, you know, you sort of have your trade-offs here. So I will say that these sound really good get the right ear tip on it, and like I said, it comes with multiple choices. Um, get the right ones in, and you might be pretty surprised. They sound really quite good, you know, and there's a lot I like about them. 
So, before I tell you the price, let me ask you for two favors. Number one, if you don't mind, go ahead and click on that subscribe button, super appreciate it. And number two, so we can actually get some feedback going on here, either leave me a comment letting me know if you liked this video, or just simply click on that thumbs up icon, because it's really helpful for me to know if you're appreciating what I'm doing, obviously. Now, the only thing left to talk about with these Rauken Micro, um, Rauken Micro earbuds is the price. And they are $129.99 at Amazon.com. And that's a pretty reasonable deal. And, you know, by comparison, these are about 159 bucks from Apple. But while Apple says they'll work with Android, this is pretty much like most everything Apple makes. It's really part of the Apple iPhone Macintosh ecosystem. These are going to be perfectly happy in both worlds. And in fact, you know, I've been using them with my iPhone 10, so they work really well. I like the Rauken Micro. I think if you want to get a shot and try the wireless earbuds, these are a really worthy competitor. So I say check them out. This is Dave Taylor, and I'll catch you in my next video.